My name is Ariel Danielle and I am a painter. I didn't start painting seriously until college. Um, before college, I didn't know that I wanted to be a painter. I just knew I wanted to do something like creative, like in the art field. Growing up, I always liked art and drawing and like Sailor Moon is like what got me started into drawing. So I always think about that and Sailor Moon still holds like a huge spot in my life because of that. When I went to school, I was like, I'm gonna be an art major because I don't know what else to do. I didn't want to go to college and to be honest, so I was like, if I have to go to college, then I'll major in art because I don't know what else I'm interested in. So by taking all the different like electives that you have to take when you're an art major, I realized like after a bunch of different classes that like I liked to paint and that I was actually good at painting. Like I had like a natural kind of talent. Um, so that was probably, probably like till like my junior year of college is when I realized that like, I could do this and, and I enjoy it and I could maybe make a career out of it if people like liked it enough. I would think that like while I was in school, I'd be like, I don't need to be here. But looking back, I did learn a lot, not just like painting wise, like there's still things that I remember like from my oil painting classes. Cause I started, um, oil painting was like my first love. And then like I got into acrylic and I was like, acrylic suits me more. But I still remember stuff that I learned in those oil painting classes. So I definitely learned stuff that I don't know I would have been able to figure out without like a professor. Um, but I also feel like my college experience um, is what pushed me into doing this kind of work because it was like, I was lacking in seeing that so much at West Georgia that it made me want to do the work that I wasn't seeing. So I don't know if I would have had that revelation if I didn't have that experience out there. In school, I was just doing self-portraits to practice. Like I would use my, like paint myself because I'm like, I'm free. I don't have to like hire a model or anything. But then I realized that the self-portraits I was doing, my friends were like relating to them and being like, oh, that's like so me. Um, that makes me feel this way, that makes me feel seen. And so I was like, wow, okay, well, let me just keep doing that. If like people like can see themselves represented in like my self portraits. And so that's how it, it began. I don't ever feel like that weird about painting myself or like, like I love taking selfies. Like I'm that kind of person. Um, and I do think it's because I'm a Leo, I've been told that's like a big Leo trait. But also with my paintings, like it's weird because they are self-portraits, but they, in my head, they're their own entity. Like when I'm painting them, I'm not thinking like this is me because when other people see it, they see themselves in it. So like, I feel like I'm, I'm using like my fit myself as like the vessel for the, the story that I'm telling, but I never really think like, oh, that's like me, you know, that this is me, this is me, this, even though it is. I want people to come to my shows and have a good time. I want you to see the work and like feel good and not like feel depressed. When I was learning about art in like college and stuff like that, if I were to see works with people of color in it, it was usually like depressing stuff. So like I want to be the artist that you go to when you want to have a good time and you want to feel good and you want to feel seen, but like in a good way. So I would say my voice is like the fun one. I also think it helps me too, because life can really just suck. So I feel like it would also suck more if I was painting stuff that was sad. So I feel like for me, painting fun stuff helps me like mentally. I'm out living life. Something happens and I'm like, this is a moment that I want to make into a painting. So. I will either like in the moment, I'll be like, let me take a photo. Or like more times than none, I recreate it and, and have like a little photo shoot downstairs in the living room. Um, just 
pop the camera, the ring light, like, and just have a little photo shoot. It'll either be like just me, like my solo paintings, or like if it's including friends, I'll make like a, a day out of it and I'll be like, hey, y'all come over, I'll have wine, we can take photos and then hang out after. So yeah, take the photos and then sometimes they have to be like edited in some way or another. So I'm doing like editing on Photoshop to get it to match the image in my head because I always have like a clear vision like of what I want it to look like. So if the photo doesn't come out like that, then I Photoshop. Then, I either, depending on if I have a time constraint or not, I'll um, project the photo onto the canvas and then um, outline it with the Posca pen and then start painting. Or if, I, if I'm not time constraint, I'll freehand, because that takes longer. Sculpture was the most stressful class I ever took. Like me and my roommate, we were both art majors and she's also my best friend. And we had sculpture together. And after every time we took a class, we would go to the liquor store and buy beer and just go sit in our room and drink beers because we were so stressed out, like, no. Um, so I will say sculpture is a big no for me, but I love ceramics. I feel like in another world, like I'd be somewhere making like pottery. Like I took every ceramics class I could take. I think I took like three ceramics classes, even though I didn't have to, because it was just so relaxing. Like we would just put in our headphones and like make stuff. So I feel like in another world, maybe I would do that. And I also really like photography, um, which I mean, I do photography a lot to get to the point in my work and like edit on Photoshop and stuff. So I feel like in another world, maybe I would do photography. Well, I want people to feel seen in like a positive light, but also just like to have that kind of section in black art where there's like black art that's kind of like about just being a normal person. Um, Cause that is what my work is. It's not like anything crazy it's, I'm, I'm doing, you know, like the mural, I'm, I'm on the phone in the bed. Like I want there to be that genre and I want to make a place so that genre can, can live. And for me, I mean, honestly, it's like, it's like therapeutic for me because since it's about my life, I feel like I spend um, a lot of time when I'm doing things, like really reflecting on them and being like, this is a moment that like was special to me. It helps me, like the work that I do, really appreciate my life in a way that I don't know I would if I wasn't painting the stuff that I'm painting. Like it makes me appreciate the mundane things in life and be like, this is a special moment that I would like to capture. I'll never forget when I was at West Georgia, a friend of mine who was also like a, a art major also, we were asked to do a mural and we had to come up with the concept and um, we were thinking about doing like two women. And then I remember being like, well, maybe we should like add a man in there. So, you know, the men also feel seen. And my friend was like, why? Like. <laughs> She was like, men are seen enough. Like, no, we don't have to add a man if we don't want to. And it just stuck with me because I was like, I don't know why my like jerk reaction is like, well, what, what about the men? And it's like, they're fine. I think they're okay. Like they literally run the world and slash also like the art world is majority men that are successful. So I'm like, you're so right. Let me stick with the girls, because why not? You know, we deserve it. I want my work to be work that can like stand the test of time. Like I want people in the future to see it and be like, this still like means something. So that's really like what keeps me going is like, I just, I want it to be impactful, even if it's like in a small way, because I feel like it is, in its own way right now. And I'm like, I would like it to continue to be that way, like the older I get. And since I do self-portraits, I think it'll be cool to see like as I age, like what stories I continue to tell.
my name is Ariel Danielle and I'm a painter and this is my voice and this is my life.